In this video, I'm going to talk about validate option in the XML task. What the validate option does is it just validates XML file against the DTD or XSD. Let's create the package and drag the XML task. Okay. And here is the option validate. So we need to specify the XML file here and the specifications file, the DTD or XSD here. Okay. When we specify, then it will it will create the output file if you want, or we can say if the validation fails, fail the package. Then we can take necessary steps. Send an email to uh, SSIS uh, developer or SSIS administrator. Okay. So for this example, I have created the XML file and the specification for the XML file. Let's open both the files. And this is the XML file and the XML file has two elements latitude and longitude and the DSD says it has it should have the two elements. Okay. Now if I run the package and if I give the XML file and the DSD file then the package should work fine because the D XML meets the specifications. Fail on validation fail. True. If the validation fails, then fail the package. Okay. And here in the second operand, I can directly type the the XSD here, or if I have the XSD in a file. I can specify the XSD file. Okay. And I can specify if the package fails, send an email or do some operations. Okay. But for this example, I'm not going to do anything of that. So I'll just uh, Run the package. The package runs successfully. Now I'll go and add one more element here called temperature. Eighty four degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I added one extra element to the XML file, but the DTD says it should have only two elements, latitude and longitude. If I run the package now, the package should fail because it doesn't meet the specifications. If you go and see the progress, you will see the validation error happen. That, that's what pretty much valid, validate option in XML task does.